because anything done, anything done with integrity from ESPN is not going to be met with any. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Charge the Game Podcast. I'll be your host here, Chuck, and we are about to get into this discussion as this article, this news broke last week, and I did not get a chance to cover it. And this is Dan Orlovsky uh, having to take his tweet down and admitting to the world that because of where he works, ESPN, a.k.a. the wokest sports media network ever, why he had to take his post down. That really wasn't a bad post uh, or tweet. But we're going to get into this, guys, because I have a bone to pick with the media, and I'm going to react to Dan from the show Outkick reacting to it. Make sure you get in here, subscribe to the YouTube channel, thumbs up, like the video. Let's go. ESPN and NNN. <laughs> we always talk about ESPN. ESPN's interesting. I told you about the email I sent Jimmy Patero, the head of ESPN, basically saying, what is wrong with you people? Why haven't you looked at what you are and you have become? And guys, real quick to get you up, I just kind of gave you the summary of this in the opening monologue. <laughs> this guy here reminds me so much of like an old school mean dad like he just reminds me of red from that 70s show just straightforward not cutting in in corners old school traditional a man's man and i appreciate this type of energy from him and what he's saying is he emailed i guess the owner the ceo of espn or maybe the guy that's in charge of uh, espn sports and how the show has found itself in the pathetic state that it is in now where they cannot be uh thoroughly honest you cannot practice your religion because you just saw the espn released um one of the co-hosts who were what i think yeah yeah one of the co-hosts the lady who was uh, a super christian they released her because of her beliefs and she does not like to go along with the get along gang and discussing these topics especially when it comes to transgenders uh, the left for the most part lbgt movement because they don't believe in that and espn used to be a respectable show huge reputation and i believe the only reason that they still do great is because of the crowd that they are drawing or attracting so just wanted to tell you guys that let's go why aren't you disgusted by what you have become when dan oglosky can't tweet out protect our daughters and then dan oglosky in an act of honesty, rarely seen at ESPN, says uh, this goes against ESPN's policy. That's when I tweeted or t emailed Patera. For those who do not know who Dan Orlovsky is, this is him. I happen to like Dan Orlovsky because he typically gives praise to my Philadelphia Eagles. So all good here, brother. He criticizes us very fairly. Uh, and I believe he's a little biased towards us, but he is an uh, ESPN analyst. He's pretty good at his job very passionate and headstrong he kind of gives off a jj reddick vibe when it comes to football for sure but this is dan orlovsky uh who you often see on espn get up and first take early in the morning this is what he's talking about uh and he obviously tweeted out against the the olympic situation the transgender caliph pretty much in 46 seconds beating a woman brains out who trained her whole life because this is an xy chromosome aka man fighting a woman and this is what he had to say guys protect our daughters and this is why he said that he had to take it down when you're an employee of a big company your social media page doesn't just get to be your social media page he stated that's a fantasy so you have to represent yourself and the company that you work for in the proper way now if you guys watch any type of espn especially first take you often will see a lot of things that are non-christian okay uh i don't think that i see anybody talking about religion but hey any single day they will cover a transgender topic uh, they will cover anything from the left side of the political spectrum and they don't want you to practice your first amendment not in that role okay and this is something that the whole world pretty much knows and i'm sorry guys i feel like if we could talk about that then why can't we talk about things that people truly believe in and it's not even that much of a big deal to me the big deal to me is the fact that you want to suppress someone else in their beliefs and uplift someone or a community of people that most people typically uh don't like to condone doesn't mean that people have anything against 
the LBGT community, but it is guys, it is very distasteful to suppress someone else and big up or uplift, you know, the things that you believe in. So that is just the background story. Let's keep going. I haven't heard back. I don't expect to heard back from Patero because anything done, anything done with integrity from ESPN is not going to be met with anything, but oh my God, I hope they don't keep emailing me. <laughs> but long story short, Jimmy Patero, to me, uh, does need to look at his operation. He does. As a father of a daughter, stepdaughter, having a wife, ex-wife, and mother, that's a lot of women in my life. I got to ask, do you people ever look at what you have turned into and get disgusted, I wrote Patero. As a father, it's our job to protect our daughters. My God, son, grow a damn pair and stand up for women. <laughs> this dude reminds me. Hey, I promise you, man, this dude sounds like he's straight out of King of the Hill, the cartoon. I watched that show faithfully, but he just kind of gives me like that old, that just old school mean dad. Like I had uncles in my family like that. They were just straight up mean. It wasn't even that they were mean. At the time, I thought they were mean, but in reality, they just were tough because they were true men. That's the best thing I could say about this man here. He's just a true, he sounds like a true, sincere man. A little raw um uh, you know what i'm saying but he doesn't mince his words he doesn't bite his tongue and obviously guys me being a military man i'm kind of used to guys like this uh I, in fact i'm like this why do you guys think i'm so headstrong I, I actually appreciate this type of content and what he's saying is <laughs> and letting it be known to his one point something million followers that he literally contacted espn to call them out on their bull job because he sees straight through it he sees that it's not right and he's and he knows that it used to not be like that seriously guys look at how the men are on that show you you, you, you it's like anything controversial they just don't know they don't even want to talk about it let oh don't let it be a black woman with an attitude on on tv you know you're not gonna win i mean i i i i would like to see them win honestly i would like to see a healthy debate it's not about me seeing a man dominate a woman it's about people having the freedom of speech to express themselves to talk about the things uh that they believe in in a respectful manner and to debate healthy and properly espn has done a great job of stripping a lot of these analysts uh from their religious morals to abide by theirs that's that should really be illegal to me in my opinion but hey this is america the land of the free but hey this is america the land of the free it just comes with stipulations okay it comes with an asterisk the free part comes with an asterisk because apparently you can't you can't talk about the things that you want to talk about or you'll be a misogynist a sexist a racist You'll get counseled. You'll lose your job. And Dan Orlovsky is trying to feed his family. I do not blame him. He's doing what he's got to do. I think that me being as prideful as I am, I, I would have left it up. I don't think it's nothing wrong with you just saying protect our daughters. It just means that you truly had an emotional moment it, like all of us did when we saw a woman train her whole life to give her one chance in the Olympics and it end in under 50 seconds. That's a pretty big pill to swallow i mean they literally had me angry so angry my video was doing great they flagged me and took my video down because it was so true it was so true they didn't even give me a warning or nothing never ever been in trouble on youtube never had a copyright strike i, I don't think so like never and they took it down because they don't want us telling the truth but anyway i digress you guys got me I will stay within my fine lines and discuss the, the subject and matter. Okay, let's keep going. Now, many times my wife will say, why would you do that? This time she said, good for you. Mm. My wife is my conscience is conscious, kind of. But anyway, will ESPN do exactly what I said? Will they start cutting their liberal gas packs? Will they start becoming an operation that is on the level? I don't know. Now, guys, I'll be the first to tell you that I really, truly do not see ESPN changing. Honestly, it's working for them. Why would they change it? They already know that they have an audience, black, white, neutral, woman, men, and most importantly, LBGTQ. So why would they stop what they're doing if it ain't broke, which to me is broken. But anyway, it's working. Uh, they're not going to change it. So these are my thoughts. This is my mindset. I want to hear yours. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thumbs up. 
like the video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Yeah.